Okay, Year 12, I'm going to go over one of the questions in exercise 6.11, projectile motion. I'm going to go through question five. Someone wrote an email and said, could you do this for me, please? So here we go. So Michelle is throwing a Frisbee and we're ignoring air resistance, the fact that the Frisbee will fly and travel and curve. We're just going to treat it like a normal projectile. But the difference here is that Michelle is throwing it from a building and she's 15.3 metres up inside the building. So let's get a diagram of this. I always find drawing a diagram useful. So let's say Michelle's in this building and she's in a window and she's going to throw this frisbee out. And she's going to throw this frisbee out and it's going to follow the path of a projectile. Now, that's going to be our initial velocity. And we're going to break it up into its vertical and horizontal components. We know the angle is 73 degrees, and we know that the initial velocity is 8.8. .8. So here we go. Let's start with the x, because it's always the easiest. Now, is there any acceleration in the horizontal domain? No, there's not. So that's pretty easy. We need to integrate that. We're integrating with respect to time. So the integration of zero is nothing, and we're just going to get some constant. Let's go back here. Well, we're going to need our initial velocity in term horizontal velocity and our initial vertical velocity. So initially, this is 8.8 .8 cos 73. And vertically, initially, it's 8.8 .8 sine 73. Let's make that dot a bit bigger. I that one a bit bigger. Okay, let's go back to this equation in terms of the horizontal displacement, the uh, horizontal velocity. So when t equals zero, velocity equals 8.8 .8 cos 73. So the constant will equal 8.8 .8 cos 73. Okay, therefore our velocity is 8.8 .8 cos 73. To get the displacement, I integrate that. 8.8 .8 cos 73 degrees times t plus some constant. I like to put the t right beside the 8.8 .8 so it doesn't get confused with the angle plus a constant. Now, when t equals zero, the horizontal displacement is also zero. So again, my next, my second constant will be zero. All right, so there's my displacement. x equals 8.8 t cos 73 degrees. Let's work on the vertical. Well, they told us to take gravity equal to 10 metres per second, and it's coming back towards Earth, so we use a negative. So y double dash is negative 10. y dash, let's integrate it, negative 10t plus some constant. Now, when t equals zero, the velocity in the vertical is 8.8 .8 sine 
73 degrees, which means my constant, when I put all that in, will be 8.8 .8 sine 73 degrees. So my velocity in the vertical is minus 10t plus 8.8 .8 sine 73 degrees. To get the displacement, I'm going to integrate that. So it's minus 10t squared divided by the 2 plus 8.8. .8. Now, I hope you don't mind. I'm going to put the t in straight away there. Sine 73 degrees plus another constant. I'm not labeling this constant C1, C2, C3. I'm just putting them in a C. You should see, you should be able to uh, work out where they are and what they represent. But here is the big kicker. When t equals zero, y is 15.3. Oh, so that means zero, oh, sorry, 15.3 equals zero, because 10 times zero squared, okay, zero plus c. So my constant is 15.3. So my equation for displacement, minus 10 on 2, well, that's negative 5t squared plus 8.8t .8 sine 73 plus 15.3. So now we have our two equations of displacement, the horizontal and the vertical, and we've done it from first principles. What did the question ask? Question said, find the time taken for it to reach the ground. Well, I didn't even really need to do the horizontal. The one that's going to help me here is going to be the vertical, because I want to find out when that equals zero. So find, oh, sorry. Let's find when, so we're finding t, y equals zero. So, Zero equals minus five t squared plus eight point eight sine seventy three degrees times t plus fifteen point three. Now this is a quadratic equation. It's a negative quadratic equation, and I'm gonna going to have to find the value of this because I'm going to use the quadratic formula because watch what it is. So 8.8 .8 times sine 73. So 8 point, I'm turning, doing this on my calculator, 8.8 .8 times sine 73. That is equal to 8.41 8, dot, dot, dot. And you can leave that in your calculator. So what have I got? 0 equals negative 5t squared plus 8.4, dot, 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 t plus 15.3. So I'm going to have to use a quadratic formula. Now, if you look at the notes that I put on the website, I've multiplied through by a negative, but I'm going to do the quadratic formula with a negative so you understand that it can work. So t is going to, going to equal two values. So it's minus b, so minus 8.4 dot 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 plus or minus the square root of 8.4 dot 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 all squared minus 4 times negative 5 times 15.3 all over 2 times negative 5. 
So this is just calculator work now. So I've got that, I've got 8.4 dot 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 in my calculator. So I'm going to use the answer function here. And the first one I'm going to do is I'm going to do this negative one. I'm going to do the minus. So I'm going negative answer minus square root of my answer squared minus four times negative five times 15.3 over two times negative five. And my first answer when I do that is 2.7 eight two seven dot 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 and I know that's the answer that I need two point eight what was all this in was it in seconds meters per second so it's in seconds two point eight seconds I'm going to do the other one just so you can see what it is now, I've got to be careful with my answer here. If I'm going to use that equation again, I need to get the answer back because my calculator is now displaying a new answer. And if I just go back, it'll just recur that answer that I've already got there. So I'm just going to very quickly go 8.8 .8 sine 73 and get that answer again. I'm going to go up. I've got that calculation again. Oh, silly, I forgot to change it to a minus, so I have to do it again. So 8. 0.8 sine 73, get it back again, go up, but this time I'm going to go into the equation, I'm going to change that minus the square root to a plus, and I get negative 1.0996 dot dot dot. And we have to ignore that because we don't have negative time, but if we were thinking about it, way back here to this diagram that we drew, it would be, if this were a graph of time, and that's one point, what did we say it was? 1.7, 2.8, 2.8 seconds, that's time. There's my negative 1.09. So, you get two answers, but ignore negative. You should really go through it and, and make sure you get it. And that's exercise 610, question five. I was going to do another one, but uh, I might leave that for tomorrow, next time, next lesson.